at, at Karendi for the previous um, three or four years, uh, Indonesian had been taught as a NIT subject, that is, uh, teachers weren't present, uh, and the one Indonesian teacher had to teach 350 students Indonesian, and we found that wasn't working. Uh, with that program this year, uh, in, uh, neither of the eight subjects, uh, eight languages, are in fact uh, NIT subjects. Our particular um, LOAP program enables children to study the LOAP that they wish to uh, with one teacher uh, for two hours. In most schools, children learn languages other than English in 45-minute lessons, and then the teacher who teaches them also will teach all of the other children in the school. Uh, we find it much better for one teacher to be able to set up a relationship with just 20 kids rather than having to try and do that with 350 students. And similarly, uh, the students feel uh, a lot more comfortable being part of a two-hour uh, lesson rather than a 45-minute lesson or several 45-minute lessons. We find that there's less time wasted uh, and children are able to participate in a range of uh, learning activities, um, not just one. I think part of the secret of our success, our success in getting the children involved is that we're just using good primary methodology. There's plenty of variety so that the children have the opportunity for tasks that involve singing, reading, writing, speaking, listening, doing things with their hands, dra dramatisations. Um, I feel that it's helped both the native speakers and the non-speakers helped um, the native speakers to have the experience of being the ones in charge and with the knowledge and the power. It's helped the non-speakers to understand what it's like not to speak the, the common language of the culture. They've learnt a lot about each other and they've learnt, I think, to be more, more tolerant and understanding. My name is Tara and I learn French and I reckon it's really cool because we have stuff to eat and I get really hungry. Um, and Miss Longo is a terrific teacher. We use um, group work a, a fair amount because of the variety of ages. So I find that the grade sevens can help the grade threes with their language tasks. Uh, we do phys ed by going outside, learning the, using the language. The children enjoy in German class mainly, I think, the phys ed. They like cooking and experimenting with German food. I think they enjoy the oral part too, uh, speaking and numbers. Um, Mary, of course, is very fluent and is probably the director teacher because she conducts the class in the language of Italian and um, together with the children I am understanding what she's saying and they see me um, using this as a learning process um, and therefore it, I think it builds their confidence to have a go and not worry if you're not right and it doesn't matter if it's not said quite the right way because Mrs Martino is still learning too. Yes, we have had a lot of support. Um, we uh, went away on a live-in weekend where it was fully, full immersion and we started a, a unit of work and it's now completed it's going to be available for teachers of Italian. Um, we've also, we also attend hub groups at the Catholic Education Office and after school at Newton where we meet with other teachers and we share ideas and swap uh, bits and pieces that we can use for lessons. Inspire each other with ideas and um, perhaps the encouragement that we give each other. And I think this is a help when something is as new as what this has been at Ferendi. When we gave the students uh, an opportunity to choose uh, which of the eight languages that they would study, we weren't really sure whether they'd really want to choose any of them. And we were astounded to find that uh, most of the kids really were enthusiastic about choosing one of the languages, and uh, many of them uh, quite a lot of the languages. And the, and the reasons they gave were uh, astounding. 
and we had students saying things like, uh, "Our next door neighbour is Vietnamese, and uh, we go and uh, we go and have uh, we play with the, the children next door, and uh, uh, the mother gives us food, and we'd like to say thank you in Vietnamese." And some said things like, uh, uh, "I'd like to be able to talk with my grandfather, who's Italian, and I can't speak Italian." I think that missing Vietnamese and non-Vietnamese children helps both groups to appreciate the cultural differences. Vietnamese children can help the other children in pronunciation and model the language. English-speaking children can appreciate the difficulties the Vietnamese children have when they first learn English. I think many Vietnamese children grow greater confidence and this helps them in their general schoolwork. Chào ông, ông quê không? Chào bạn, bạn quê không? Em nào có thể dịch ra tiếng tiếng Anh cho cô nè. Yes, the class size does give children an advantage. Learning a lot program. Uh, last year I had 340 children I had to teach. This year I've only got around 20 children and uh, they are more motivated and, and they have chosen the subject. It's um, a story that the teacher read to us that we were, um, had to write down and replace some of the words in Indonesian. I am Hitam Dan, I am Bai Bai Dipat Tingal Semayu Malam. Choosing There's not so much problem with the discipline and I can work more individually with children. Because uh, they have a mixed class where the Spanish speaker can help children to uh, learn a new language. One of the really important and pleasing languages in our project was our chance to teach Naranjeri to a mixed group of Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal students. Naranjeri is the natural language of many of our Aboriginal students at the school. Well, the challenges that we've had with this program have been um, to convey to the children the diversity of the culture while at the same time teaching the language and to do this we've had to employ many people within the Aboriginal community to, to get across this feeling of culture to the students in our group. Well, the Aboriginal community have been invaluable to our program because they've been used as resource people through HPI. And without them, we wouldn't have had a lot of the things that we've done with the children because it's their expertise that has made it that way. One of the really exciting things that I think has developed from um, the, the non-Aboriginal students and the Aboriginal students working together is the respect that the children have developed for um, the Aboriginal people as a whole. Um, we've had many Aboriginal people involved in the program and um, intuitively the children have developed that sense of respect. Uh, on one occasion um, the children referred to the, the Aboriginal women who work in the class as auntie, as a term of respect. And the, the non-Aboriginal children just take on that term um, quite naturally as a term of respect as well. And we're, we're really wanting to do something significant in this language to ensure that uh, all of the words are written down as part of the language and that there becomes a, a, an identified lexicon in Naranjeri. <laughs> I think the supportive environment is absolutely vital so that children feel safe having a go at things, that they're willing to try out new words and be put into situations that they're not familiar with. It's important that it's great fun and that the adults are, are as involved as the children. There needs to be uh, opportunities for whole group work, collaborative work, individual work. The tasks that are set need to be realistic and achievable, so very much success oriented. But overall it must be educationally 
valuable and sequential and with reference to things like the national profile so that we are giving the children the best education in rote possible as we do in every other subject. We found by giving stu students a choice in the language that they study, um, uh, they cooperate more in class and, and uh, they learn a whole lot more in class. Uh, but there are a lot of other side benefits we didn't expect when we began the program. Having 15 staff involved in teaching a language other than English has had another uh, unexpected benefit. Uh, we find we need to collaborate together uh, frequently. Our LOAT program is a very, very powerful part of our school curriculum and uh, it has a lot of drive and a lot of energy and it is very innovative and creative. Uh. Yes, the children can continue in the, the language to high school. We made sure that local high schools offered that language right through to tertiary level. We believed it was very important that there was continuity. It um, gives validity to the LOAT program and it ensures that places that fund us um, see that it's a valid program and continue with their funding. It helps us in um, justifying the program to the parents because it is such a different way of approaching LOAT and it helps the, the children to make life choices that are really important. Because the students choose the subject that they want to learn, uh, they want to learn more. Uh, when walking around in the playground, uh, the students will often come up to me and talk to me in French, and I know other students, other teachers who are on the hour duty who speak uh, Italian or Greek or Vietnamese often converse with the children while they're doing yard duty. Uh, and we hear from parents uh, who say to us that their children will often talk to them in the language that they're, that they're learning or practice it on their grandparents or their relatives. Ya mnya sarka omorfi treli Ya ma feliz na ginume pazzi Vale to glico su to fili Polo la risa cardiza Ta grizume pules Que to gratis fina fina static, there's always room for improvement and expansion and that's probably our main focus will be to expand the program so that more children can have the opportunities. We also want to set in place systems that ensure that we keep having bilingual teachers on the staff so that we can offer more, if not more languages, certainly more classes of the existing languages so that eventually we can accommodate reception to Year 7. I learn German, my name's Leah, and I like it because um, it's fun and I get to quiz my stepdad and um, we do sport and we learn a lot of German. And they've learnt a lot about each other and they've learnt, I think, to be more, so more tolerant and understanding. My name's Chris and I learn Vietnamese and I like Vietnamese because I have a friend who is Vietnamese and I can communicate in his language. Um, the community is showing a lot more interest in what's happening, uh, starting to see the value of it and are making very encouraging remarks about um, plans for the future, uh, having their children continue with a second language rather than seeing it as a soft option or a waste of time. with me.